Hey there, tech enthusiasts and fellow Earthlings. Today, we've got some out-of-this-world news. And no, it's not Elon Musk launching a car into space again. This time, he's claiming to have successfully implanted a brain chip through his company, Neuralink. According to Musk, the brain chip pioneer, they've detected some promising brain activity, and the patient is apparently recovering well. Well, I hope they're recovering well. I mean, who wouldn't want a high-tech brain makeover, right? But hold on a sec. Professor Anne from King's College London says, For any company producing medical devices, the first test in humans is a significant milestone. Yeah, yeah, Professor. Milestone, smilestone. But let's not forget, Elon is the master of turning everything into a media circus. She also throws in a pinch of caution, saying, true success can only be measured in the long term. Well, Elon will need a sequel for this brain chip blockbuster. Now, the Brain Olympics also have some tough competition from Switzerland, where they've enabled a paralyzed man to walk just by thinking. That's right, no fancy dance moves, just pure brain power. Take that Neuralink, but wait, no independent verification of Musk's claims, no info on the procedure. Come on, Elon, we want details. BBC News has reached out, but it seems like they are busy decoding Musk's tweets too. Now let's not forget Neuralink's past. Rumor has it they had a wild party with Thamarind 500 animals, including sheep, monkeys, and pigs. Animal rights activists, don't worry, the head of the US Department of Agriculture says they found no violations. Party on, Neuralink. Fast forward to May 2023, FDA gave Neuralink the green light to test the brain chip on humans. Six years of a robot surgeon strategically placing 64 threads thinner than a hair on the brain. That's like setting up a high-tech knitting club up there. And what's this about telepathy, Elon's first product? Apparently, it lets you control your phone or computer just by thinking. I mean, I can barely control my TV remote, and now you want me to control my phone with my thoughts. Elon says, imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist. Well, Elon, we're still imagining flying cars, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. While Elon's busy aiming for telepathy, his rivals are not new to the game. BlackRock Neurotech has been playing with brain-computer interfaces since 2004, and Precision Neuroscience has a brain tape that they say is as easy as sticking it on your forehead. Move over, Elon. We've got some low-budget brain magic happening. So, folks, buckle up for the brainy roller coaster ride with Elon and his Neuralink adventures. Will he turn us into telepathic superheroes, or are we just pawns in his sci-fi fantasy? Only time will tell. Until then, keep your brains charged and your skepticism even higher.